Marinette Marine launches its latest battleship for the Navy, unveiling the 380-foot USS Fort Worth. But approval to build more in Marinette is facing a holdup in Congress. Good evening to you. I'm Mark Leland. While Marinette Marine celebrated the christening and launch of the nation's third literal combat ship, or LCS, the company and its workers now face contract holdups and layoffs. Fox 11's Beth Jones reports. After 20 months on land, this 3,000-ton vessel has finally found its home on the water. Hundreds came out for the launch of the USS Fort Worth, which is 80% complete and built right here at Marinette Marine. Well, this particular project kept over 600 people employed for the last two years. But more jobs could be on the way. Marinette Marine hopes to get another contract through the U.S. Navy to build 10 more of these ships. Ten other ships could go to a shipbuilder in Alabama. Officials expect it would create 1,000 new jobs at the shipyard and have a $500 million economic impact throughout Wisconsin and Michigan each year. However, the contract is still making its way through Congress. We've been working closely with both houses of Congress uh, to get support for the, the initiative. And right now, I believe we have very strong support in the House and we're continuing to work with the Senate where uh, the bill would next go. Outgoing Congressman Steve Kagan says issues with cost are what's holding up the contracts. However, he remains optimistic. We need these ships not just for our local economies here and down south, but for our national defense. While everyone waits, Marinette Marine will finish up work on Fort Worth. However, with the majority of it complete, officials say there's currently not enough work to go around. Marinette Marine officials say over the next two weeks, at least 200 employees will be temporarily laid off. However, if they do receive word they'll get the new Navy contract this month, they expect to begin recalling those employees by April and expect to be back at full force in July. Officials expect Congress to make a decision on the Navy contracts before the first of the year. In Marinette, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. Now, there is still a possibility that only one shipyard will be awarded the contract for those ships. That's if Congress votes down the current proposal for both shipyards to build 10 ships each.